Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. Now, I believe I've got us pretty much back to where we are. Um, I did come all the way back here. <laughs> um, and then I realized that I didn't have the key because I had to go fight the uh, Plant 42 again, which was frustrating, but hey, <laughs> never mind. All right, let's go meet our first hunter again. Hopefully, things will be a little bit smoother and I'm definitely going to save it now. We're going to go save it in our little uh, save room over the road. Or through the door, I should say. I'm very tired. <laughs> it's the first day of my holiday and I am exhausted. But that's okay. We don't have to be up at stupid o'clock. Right, come on, come on. Come to daddy. Or come to mummy, as it were. Oof. One. Two. Three. Yep, yeah, this is crazy. Four shotgun shells. Now, on normal difficulty, these guys take um, about two shotgun shells, I think. Three if you're very unlucky. And now, what's interesting about the shotgun, uh, I can't remember if I said this before, but it doesn't seem to matter how close you are to the hunter, it does the same damage, which I actually kind of like that. Because I don't like the idea that you need to stick a shotgun down something's throat for it to do damage. Uh, there's a Mo disc, which is nice. My dad had a Purdy uh, over and under shotgun. And um, trust me, <laughs> that thing it was hyper lethal from quite some distance. Um, I don't know why in video games shotguns have uh, a two meter range. Uh, it's very strange. Um, now, going through here, I think we're going to take the bad boy. This rocket launcher, or the bazooka, as they call it in this version of the game, which is very strange. Not really sure why. Right, he's done. He's hurt, he's hurt. Right, two of these grenade shots. Believe it or not, two grenade shots. I mean, it's nice and satisfying the way they blow apart. It really is, but, ah yes, of course, I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble. Thanks, Barry. We definitely have some trouble, that's for sure. Now, we're definitely going to save it, because that was a kind of ball ache, um, getting all the way back here. We are going to have to fight Yawn soon as well. We've got lots of shotgun shells for him. I really want to save my magnum for the end game because I saw how much trouble uh, my friend Jimmy had with it and <laughs> yeah uh, I don't want want to be suffering too much however I will oh right yeah we're full I was hungry for battle and now I'm full okay so let's just have an inventory check here we are actually running out of space um, so oh my god we've got so many ink ribbons right let's drop one of the mo discs down uh, I th hmm. Uh, hmm. I think I am gonna take keep the shotgun on us uh, we yeah, I might keep what we've got on us, actually. Explosive rounds we're going to keep for later on in the game, I reckon. Now, let's go drop a dirty, dirty save. I do feel really odd saving, like, every five minutes. At least it feels like it, but um, there is no penalty for saving too frequently. This game is purely done on time, which is fine. Oh, hang on, have I somehow skipped? <laughs> Did I load the wrong save? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but hey, that's fine. Maybe I loaded the wrong save and uh, I didn't actually have to go back and do the plant <laughs> and all that, but I don't know. But in all fairness, the plant didn't damage us whatsoever. 
and yeah so the plant didn't actually damage us didn't hit us once and only took about four shotgun shells four shotgun shells uh about eight maybe nine shotgun shells to kill um which i thought was pretty good Uh, so we haven't wasted health on him and we haven't wasted any grenades on him either. So now we can relax a little bit because, of course, we have just saved it. Uh, I don't know if I want to go fight Yawn yet. Although we have to, actually. Yeah, we actually have to go to Yawn now. My concern is all the hunters. Oh my god. This is going to be painful. There's, I mean, this little dickhead up here. This is really brutal. I mean, he kind of gets a free hit on you as soon as you start. Like that. It's really shit and cheap. Oh, okay. Ow. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Look at that nonsense. Utter nonsense. Really? You see that? Can we hit him, please? Thank you. Danger. Okay, so he actually took, like, stupid amounts of ammo there. But now we can load the big boys. The only problem with this is they can just jump through them. Like, they don't care. Come on. There we go. Ow. Um, okay, I was hoping that was going to be a one-hit kill. I, oh, God, and we're down to fine. Oof. Right, let's go heal up, because I think... I think there's another one around this corner. No, okay. Uh, oh, fuck, but we've got to go fight Yawn, so let's go get a mixed herb. And we'll eat a green as well, just because. So that's... How many hunters have we killed? We've killed two downstairs, we've killed two upstairs, and we've killed... One. Um, when we came in, so we've already killed five hunters. <laughs> I don't know how many there are. But... Uh, acid rounds, though. They take two acid rounds. That's ridiculous. No, seriously, that's ridiculous. Acid rounds are like your your ace in the hole. Um, we've got flame rounds as well. But flame rounds are not fantastic against much, to be 100% honest with you. Uh, let's... We've got 12 of those. Um, Alright, let's have a green and we'll have a mixed in fact actually what we could do for yawn is make a super or as my friend used to say back in the day we'll go mix up a mega weed there we go now i know in some of the games i don't know if it applies to this game in some of the games if you use the blue green red combo it does actually make you invincible for like 30 seconds or 10 seconds or something like that um, not sure if that applies to this one though maybe I should look that up damn it Titan do your research I actually do have the official game guide for this uh, which well, I was kind of tempted to dig out to be honest but I don't know okay now let's go pay Yawn a little visit, which I seriously think it's going to end badly. Yawn, oh god, I don't know whether to use the acid rounds on him either. Hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll see what we see. Right, come to Mama, you big ugly bitch. This is going to hurt. Yep, hello. I like the way he actually looks injured here. Even though we haven't really done too much to him. Oh boy. Give him one. 
Run. Just keep moving. Keep moving. Ah, you sod. Another one for you. Ooh. That hit. Ooh, he hit me, though. Ah, fuck. Danger. Already. Already on danger. Oh, man. Can't actually see him. Ouch. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Oh, boy. Okay. That's fine. Don't know how much he can take. A lot more than we're giving him. That's for sure. Ooh. Ooh, he's done. <sighs> okay. That wasn't too bad. <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking that we get any kind of uh, respite of healing from this guy, uh, from using blue herbs. We're going to go back. Let's go back and get a heal. Yeah, remember we have all those healing <laughs> supplies in our, in our box. We're about to use pretty much if I had to guess by the time we get to the lab our healing box is going to be basically empty but the shotgun actually did a fairly good job there I think we used about eight cartridges maybe a couple more not bad not bad at all happy with that and oh my god you know all the trouble that I've had to record this game um, going through like two playstations and I'm just like looking at all my converter boxes and everything that are going into my uh, capture card Sony please unfuck yourself and make the playstation 5 compatible with ps1 games at least playstation 1 games it's not that hard you know Sony uh, Microsoft's been doing it for all of their gen of games um I mean, the PlayStation 5, can you imagine? That's better. Can you imagine if the PS5 would play every generation of PlayStation game? What a beast of a machine that would be. Oh, I mean, the Xbox is kind of getting there. I mean, they've said it's going to play at launch um, 100 of PlayStation 4's top games. And everyone's like, yeah, that's really cool. And I'm, I'm, am I the only one that's looking at that, saying, thinking to myself, that's actually pathetic? But hey, maybe we've just been spoiled with what the Xbox has achieved. Or what Microsoft's achieved with the Xbox. Okay. I mean, the backward compatibility list could be better on the Xbox. But they've stopped making new titles um, backwards compatible now for the one to focus on the, the Series X which yeah that's fair it's too dark to see anything Jill have you found anything interesting yes but I can't see very well how about going down to check by yourself I have a rope here cool. why don't you come with me Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. <laughs> Wait. Thanks, Baza. You're one of the good ones. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. <laughs> uh, where is this rope storage? Barry? 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 I assume that he's got a closet full of rope somewhere that he's found. Right, now, you can just go off without him. But if you do that, you can't get the good ending where he survives. So we're going to have to sit here and wait. Yes, yeah, so Sony really disappointed me with their backwards compatibility this generation. Considering they, they used to be really good for it. I mean, look at the PS3. When the PS3 launched, it could, it was backward compatible with everything. What a cool idea. And everyone always says the same thing. Oh, hey, Baza. Hey, 
Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope! I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. <laughs> sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. Oh, pass number. Uh, pass number. That's actually really useful. Thanks, Barry. Now we could save ourselves a headache and go Thank put you. that in now. I'll take this then. Which isn't a terrible idea. Right, okay, let's go back down. Yeah, uh, a lot of people just say like, oh, we'll just keep your old consoles. And that's fair, but what happens when they start breaking them down? When they start breaking down and stop working properly? And not to mention, I'd rather have one PlayStation than five. And then you've got all the old uh, connections and wires and converter boxes that you need. It's just, just, just fuck off. Just, just give us one PlayStation that plays all the PlayStation games. Ooh, I did not expect hunters down here. Oh my God, hunters, hunters, you are shitting me. This was zombies on easy. Oh no. Decap attack. Oh. You are kidding me. You are kidding me. Uh. <laughs> For fucking real. Oh my god. God, we just got fucked. Well, guys, I guess I will see you <laughs> in a second. Son of a bitch. I was totally not expecting that. And we're back, guys. <clears throat> okay, so that went poorly. Uh, we know there's hunters down there now. We don't know how many hunters. Um... I did just use a few rounds on your, um, some acid rounds, and that definitely seems to be the magic number right there. Um, he did not like those, so I used like three acid rounds on him, and literally like one or two shotgun shells, and he was done. I do like the way Barry comes in, and he says, uh, Hey Jill, have you found anything interesting? As he steps over this giant melting snake corpse. Yeah, no, no, nothing at all, Barry. Just, you know, a hole in the wall where this massive snake is just smashed in. But we're going to go get some heals. And hopefully, hopefully, we are going to uh, proceed a little bit further into the maze. I'm very tempted. You know what? I don't care. We're going to save it. We're going to save it where we need to because at the end of the day, guys... You know, <laughs> my time is not unlimited. As much as I'm enjoying this, I can't keep can't keep losing all this time to being killed. And it's got to be said, I think hunters are just straight bullshit. Like they are ridiculous. Now, also, what this uh, save here does. Is it will allow us to experiment and see what's actually down in that uh, corridor because if there's nothing down there I'm just gonna run past them but if there's some good shit down there uh, I think it's worth trying to collect it if we can now one pack of shotgun shells used to be really nice it used to be a really good little find now one pack of shotgun shells is maybe if you're lucky a dead hunter because hunters don't 
piss around. They are bullshit in this. Not quite as bullshitty as they are in the new remake. Um, I, you know, my favourite hunters in all of the Resident Evil series, for sure, are the new ones in the remake. They're so cool. Um, if hunters were a real enemy um, or a real life creature, I think in the remake they just fucking nailed them. They really did. The way they just come at you unrelentingly and they're running across like walls and shit. Oh man. Well, okay, maybe not running across the walls, but the way they're so fast and so spry. And I do like their new redesign as well. It's really cool how their faces look a little bit like Predator. A little bit. Alright, let's just move Trevor's grave here. And head on down. Um, right. I don't really know what my strategy here is. Uh, I don't want to waste that at all. So, let's go around here. Yep, we've got him. What? Oh, God. There's a pack of shotgun shells there. Grab them, Jill. Grab them. We're still on fine. So, that's okay. Is that worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Was it worth sacrificing one F8 spray? Come on. Chill. Chill. Okay. Was that a worthy trade-off? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Fuck. Oh, zombies. Oh, zombies. Beautiful, beautiful zombies. Beautiful, friendly, happy zombies. Oh, how I love zombies. Ah. Oh. My god, hunters. I... So, was an F8 spray worth seven shotgun shells? Um, I don't know. I don't know, man. Stop asking me questions. I don't know the answer to these questions. Uh, hey, zombies. Why don't you stand up and show Jill some, some, some appreciation? There we go. Anything on you guys? That's interesting. This zombie's actually moved. He wasn't actually uh, there. He was around the corner, I think, in the original mode, which is interesting. Okay, right. Let's see if there's anything here. It's dusty. It's not been used for a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's fine. Uh, there is a zombie on the floor there. Let's take him out. Did he really take two shotgun shells? I guess he did. Greedy, cheeky little bastard. Okay, uh, now... This is the zombie that opens the door. Listen to that squelching as he moves. Oof. Mmm. Evening, my boy. Evening. I'm sorry, but the kitchen's closed. What? What? Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. That was fucking shit. Wait, what the fuck is up with this guy? Is this a special zombie? Uh... I'm sorry, what? What was that about? He took, what, four shotgun shells? And didn't die? What was that about? Well, one second, guys. And we're back, guys. Okay, so I didn't bother grabbing the shotgun shells because I just... I don't think it's worth it. <clears throat> I did get hit by the hunter, but it didn't do any damage. Uh, I also didn't kill the two zombies. Because, again, I don't think it's worth it, honestly. Uh, we can go up there now. 
which I don't think is a bad shout, but we've got a lot of hunters to get through. And I don't know what the hell's up with this guy. Like, this guy is unreal. I don't know what to do. He's quick as well. He's definitely a special Zambi. He's definitely some kind of special zombie. I mean, look at this motherfucker. Is he invincible? This guy's got to be invincible, I guess. No? Okay, well if he's not invincible, he's damn close to invincible. Is he even dead? Yeah, he's bleeding out. Um, right, well that was some extra horse shit. Now, oh fuck. We can go up here. It's been a, like a few days since I've seen Jimmy's playthrough, so <clears throat> I can't remember like the enemy placement. But... Oh man, right, this should be zombies through here. It should be. And we can't open the door here either because we need to open it from the other side, I believe, which is ass. Oh, come on. Oh my boys. Yep, of course. Right, two hits, you're gone. Oh god, of course. You're just gonna do that. Right. Okay. Really running low on these acid rounds now. There's no herbs. Oh, there is a herb there. I mean, that's something. Fucking hell. We're like dead again, basically. Um, nothing there. I mean, we'll have a look in here. I'm hoping this is going to be zombies. But I don't know anymore. Right, please. Um, yeah, I'm sure I remember Zam. Yeah, we can hear the zombies. Thank fuck nuggets for that. What's in here? Um, uh, sure, I guess. Okay, <clears throat> not really what I wanted, but I'll take it. Okay, well, we won't worry about that yet. Now, are you an invincible super mega zombie from beyond the moon? You're not. Good. How many more zombies have we got in here? Now, at the moment, we're just clearing these enemies out. We are obviously going to have to come back. Ooh! Fuck my ass and call me Charlie. Right. And there's still another Zambi. Don't know where he is, though. I'm hoping we don't have to take him out. Oh! Hello. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Why would you put him there? The fucking hell's are wrong with you game developers. Um... Right, let's draw him out. Let's draw him out. Cool. Okay, now if we go in here, he will reset. Oh god, please don't be anything nasty in here. Whew, okay. Eat. Do we use the F8 spray or do we use the herb? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Now. I think there's a handgun magazine in here somewhere. Yeah, do we? I mean, I guess. There's ink ribbons there, which we... Oh, there's the battery. I do remember that, actually, from Jimmy's playthrough. Right. Okay. Okay. So, before we do an awful lot more, and I know there's a file there. Where is the motherfucker? Yeah, cool. Now, before we do an awful lot more, I just want to 
check this. Area routes. Any Zambles in here? It wasn't in the original. No. Uh, and I keep saying the original, but of course I'm in the original mode. Now, that bust, or was at least something very similar to that, was reused in Resident Evil 2. You had two of them. Alright. Now, there's a button there that we can push and it turns the light on, but you don't need to do that. Oh, coffee. Oh, my first coffee of the day. No, tell a lie. It's not the first coffee of the day. I had a coffee before the bath, I remember now. Okay. Right. So, we have... That looks normal. Right. Let's get out of here. Now, the trouble is... This is going to get messy and painful. Because we now need to make our way to the save room. But wait, there's more. We also need to fight our way to the save room and fight our way back here. Uh, now, I'm going to put money on the fact that there's a fucking hunter right around this corner. No? Oh, thank God for small mercies. Right, what's in here then? I remember from Jimmy's playthrough it wasn't what you think. At least I've only seen his Chris playthrough anyway. Two lots of explosive ammo. Alright, that's not bad. That's not bad game. Now... Technically, I mean, if I want to be really cheesy, I could eat that F8 spray, grab the ribbons from that room, and save in the main hall. Which is tempting, but I don't really want to do that. I want to clear some of these hunters out. But, I mean, we've got the equipment for it. We have. The shotgun is definitely the weapon for this. Um, the grenade launcher, sorry. Because nothing else is going to touch the hunters. So... And even then, we don't have a lot of grenade ammo left. And I think... Right, let's think about this. Up here, there's what? One... Two... Three... Three. Oh god, there's loads of hunters we've got to get through. Oh, there's so many we've got to get through. There's so many. Oh. I think we might die here, guys. Oh! Oh! Wait! Oh! Not what I was expecting. Not what I was expecting at all. Okay. We're poisoned. Right. Oh god. Yeah, we're I mean, we're dead. We're definitely dead. Because we've got to fight the hunters now. But, okay. This room is full of hunters. Come on. Where are you? One down. One down. Okay. We're wasting too many of these. That's two down. Oh, God. Three down. 
And we're on red health. We're dead. We are dead. Unless we... <laughs> we're so dead. I didn't know there's going to be spiders there. How was I meant to know there were spiders there? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Fuck me. Fuck me, guys. I don't know what to say. Fuck me. How? How? I would have put any amount of money that we were dead there. Yes. Oh my god, we're back up to fine. And the... Right, and... The spiders are dead. <sighs> Two of the hunters are dead. <clears throat> I... I'm going to save it and call this a video. When we come back, we have to clear out two hunters. And we have to... What do we have to do? We've got to clear out two hunters. We've got to go pick up all of those items. I don't think... I mean, it's, it, it's, it's rough. We're... we're doing pretty rough right now but we could be doing so fucking much worse uh, to be honest with you I'm I'm quite happy with how that's gone we need a lot of spaces free though so we're gonna drop the grenade gun we're gonna keep hold of that we are going to grab the clip going to combine. We've got 45 rounds, which, I mean, these are just going to be used, really, for the lab. Uh, we've got explosive rounds. Do I want to use explosive rounds on the hunters? Um, yes, I think. I think I think the only acceptable answer is yes. Because we're going to get two more packets of those. Six. Uh, wait, have we only got one pack of explosive rounds so far? We don't need those. Colt Python, Magnum rounds. Okay, so we've got 12, we've got 18 Magnum rounds. Which isn't great, but it's not terrible either. Um... I mean, we've got stacks of health, but the supplies, ammunition is running quite low. Hmm. I mean, I wouldn't say we're critical yet. But we're heading in that direction. Spiders, though. Why were there spiders there? Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.